I've just always been a feminist. I believe that men and women are equal, and I, I think that's obvious, and it's always been part of my life. I am the mother of three, um, three children, and they are, they are really great, and they are feminine. My, my daughter in particular was declared by her, her teacher when she was nine, the most radical feminist nine-year-old he'd ever met, and I was very proud, and so was her father. When my daughter was about four, we were at a picnic, and she she just went out of my sight for a few seconds, and I turned and went. I mean, it was just like 30 seconds, and I went and I got to get her, and and she's very cute. She's had long blonde hair. She's very pretty. And there were these group of men, um, and they were taking her photograph, and she was posing for them. And I I I grabbed her and I said no to them, and I said that's not okay. And so we started talking to her about you know strangers and this idea of stranger danger and how do you how do you explain to a child like that you have to be a bit careful with strangers and so I found this book it's um, a classic kids book the Bernstein Bears um, and there's there's many many books and hundreds probably of books in this series but there was this one on strangers and in the book um, the Papa Bear sits the little baby bear down and explains to her that, um, you know, that you have to be very careful. You can't like, you have to be scared of people. And he shows her the newspaper with all the, the scary headlines of baby bears being kidnapped. And, and, and he tells them a scary story. And so the little baby bear gets very, very scared and won't go outside and play at all. And she doesn't want to go and ride her bike and she doesn't want to play Frisbee with her brother. And so the, the mama bear takes her aside and says, um, you know, that, that life is like a, like a bushel of apples. And she has the, the drawing in the book is a, the big bushel of apples. And she says, you know, in every bushel of apples, there's one bad apple, but most of the apples are just fine. And um, they take, and the baby, the little baby bear pulls out an apple and says, look, this one's all lumpy and it looks weird and it's like a weird apple. And the mama bear cuts it in half and says, but look, it's, it's actually a perfectly fine apple. And then they, they go through the apples and they find one and they, it's a, it looks normal and she cuts it in half and says, but look, this one, it's rotted in the inside. It's a bad apple. Um, but she says, you know, again, like most of these apples, though, are perfectly fine. So you need to go outside. And most of the people that you see, you don't have to be scared of them because they're, the, they're perfectly fine apples. Um, but you just have to be a bit careful because every now and then there might be a bad apple. And that means you don't get in the car with somebody you don't know. You don't maybe, you know, you can still say hello, but you don't maybe go with them. And that's like trying to explain that, um, that you don't need to live in fear and, and not go out and not play and not be out there because most people are good apples, the majority of them. No, I'm noticing that fear is sort of contagious and it's, and you want to respect that somebody is frightened, but at the same time you want to say, you can't let this stop you. I have two boys who are um, eight and the littlest is about to turn five next week. And they are, they adore their big sister. And I consider them feminist. My eight year old, he was seven, I think. Um, Last year we had rewatched Mary Poppins, the movie, and he came in the next morning at breakfast and said, Mommy, do you, do you know what's wrong with Mary Poppins? It's like seven in the morning, <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with Mary Poppins. Because the mommy in the movie is out fighting for women's, that women are equal and out marching that women are equal. Why isn't the daddy out fighting as well with her? And I said, you're right. I've never had. I've never actually given a critical feminist analysis of Mary Poppins. But you're you're right. he's like the daddy should be out there fighting with her.